What's happening guys? Welcome back to another Z Code System video where today we're going to talk about the NBA 2019-20 season which tips off on October 22nd and we're getting very excited about that at Z Code System and I'm sure you are too if you're watching this video. Now guys, head over to the Z Code System website where you can check out our latest blog that I've written there looking at the NBA uh, from a preseason point of view and I asked the question is it time for a new era in the association? And we've seen a lot of things going on in the NBA in the offseason that makes it look like things are going to change in the association this year. But of course, you can find all kinds of information there, uh, picks, blogs, and contests at Z Code System. And before we get to our NBA preview for today, I just want to direct your attention to the latest Z Code System cash contest. As you can see here, guys, you can go to the cash contest at Z Code System because it's back and a lot of money is up for grabs and a lot of prizes as well. So you can go over to Z Code System and find the Z Code Meter Cash Contest and get in on that and win lots and lots of great prizes there. So go and do that right now and don't forget to upgrade to the VIP. Now, guys, let's get on to that NBA preview that I promised you. Okay, we're talking NBA 2019-20 season, and of course, with the NBA and everything that's happened in this offseason, from the trades and transactions to the U.S. basketball team not doing so well at the FIBA World Cup, we could spend an hour, two hours, three hours, or more talking about the different teams and the different things going on in the association I'm going to try to condense a lot of this down into just a few minutes to give you a little bit of a treat of what's going to happen this season and what we can look out for as we get ready for tip-off preseason starting up this weekend. And the NBA season will tip off, as I said before, on October 22nd. So getting very excited for that big 82-game marathon season that follows. So let's take a look at a few things that uh, I've outlined here today in our preview. Now, the first thing let's look at is the odds to win the NBA championship, the futures odds and shock of all shocks. The Los Angeles Clippers are plus 350, according to leading sports books, to win the NBA championship. This is not, uh, not something that you would have expected uh, as a longtime NBA fan, but the Clippers signed Paul George in the offseason from the Oklahoma City Thunder, and they got the perhaps biggest free agency signing in Kawhi Leonard, who they uh, brought over from the Toronto Raptors. Leonard winning the MVP, uh, NBA Finals MVP, that is, last season with the Raptors as he carried them on his back to the NBA championship. Now, the Raptors were a good team uh, prior to Leonard's arrival, but with Leonard there, he pushed them over the finish line uh, and really transformed that team. And I expect him to do the same with the Los Angeles Clippers. I think this is going to be a really exciting team and uh, a lot of good things to watch. Now, of course, uh, a lot of hype around them. So if they start off slowly, give them a bit of time to uh, iron things out. But I think this is going to be a really good Clippers team. And the Los Angeles Lakers, plus 400 to win the NBA championship. And I think this uh, position for them has a lot to do with sportsbooks really selling the Lakers to fans. I don't think this Lakers team is going to be quite that good. Yes, LeBron James is there. Uh, they got um, DeMarcus Cousins. He's going to be out injured uh, for quite some time. Anthony Davis, they got him uh, in. They used, spent a, uh, used a lot of players to acquire him. Uh, Dwight Howard has come back to the LA Lakers. I think this is a bit of an unbalanced team, and I don't see the Lakers doing as well as they are projected to do. And if LeBron James goes down, he missed 55, or sorry, he played 55 games last season, which was the lowest number uh, he has played as an NBA player. I think this Lakers team is actually going to do far worse than expected. Uh, and like I said, if James goes down injured, I don't see them uh, doing quite so well. Now, there's one team on there that I really fancy, and that's the Philadelphia 76ers at plus 800. I do like the Bucks. I like uh, Antetokounmpo, um, but this Philadelphia 76ers team, there's something about them. Joel Embiid is uh, a fantastic player. He's uh, getting healthier, played the most games he has as an NBA player last season, 
And um, I think the 76ers team is going to be very good. They moved on uh, Jimmy Butler, which I think was a great move. I don't think it really fit with him uh, in the team. Tobias Harris is still there. They brought, uh, they've still got uh, Ben Simmons, who gets a lot of flack from NBA media for whatever reason. I don't think he deserves it. But I think the 76ers team is going to be very good. Golden State. Look, the sports books think they're going to be the sixth likeliest team to win the NBA championship. And I think that's a bit justified because Durant is gone. He went to the Brooklyn Nets. And they've also go- they're also going to miss Klay Thompson for at least 55 games this season. So Seth Curry will be having them on his back. And I think that dynasty is done in Golden State. Now, I've picked three off-season winners, Brooklyn Nets and the LA Clippers, really 1A and 1B uh, there. The Nets, they got Durant uh, and Kyrie Irving, uh, who, you know, if you're a Celtics fan, you probably feel that Irving really uh, underachieved with them. He wasn't able to be that player that uh, everyone expected him to be to carry them and lead them to an NBA Finals. Very much uh, an underachiever in Boston, but Durant really pushes this team over the edge. Problem is, Durant is expected to miss the entire season. At the very least, he could be back till March. A lot of rumors say he will be back then. They've circled that uh, month as a time for him to return. But will he be in any kind of NBA basketball shape to carry them through the playoffs? I don't really think he could be. I think Nets are a year away from being the best team or potentially the best team in the Eastern Conference. Now, I already talked about the Clippers. I think they're a really good team. And I think that uh, they can come out of the Western Conference uh, and win that this year. And, of course, I said the 76ers as well. Um, Very good team there. And uh, they had a lot of momentum last season. Just a little bit of inconsistency. And I think they can shore that up this season uh, with their main challenger in the Eastern Conference being the uh, Milwaukee Bucks, who had the best NBA record uh, of the regular season a year ago. Now, I put question marks around these three teams. Golden State, as I said before, Klay Thompson is injured. Uh, Durant is gone. Steph Curry has them on his back. Can he carry the weight of this team in a very, very difficult and competitive Western Conference? I don't really think that he can lead them to having the best record in the Western Conference. And through the playoffs, even with Thompson back, not sure if he can take them through. A lot of question marks there. I think that dynasty is done. Lakers, once again, I highlighted that earlier. James is getting older, played his fewest games of an NBA season last year. His consecutive uh, years of making the playoffs ended. I don't think this team is as good as um, sportsbooks are setting them out to look, especially with some of the internal problems that happened at the end of last year. Magic Johnson leaving, Luke Walton uh, being dismissed, all those problems. But again, I think sportsbooks are selling fans hard on the Lakers because of LeBron James, of course. And the Houston Rockets, uh, more questions around them. James Harden, of course, he's back, fantastic score. But they signed uh, in the offseason through trade. They signed from Oklahoma City, Russell Westbrook. Now, both of these two players played in Oklahoma City at one time, a long time ago. Um, They've obviously developed further uh, as basketball players since then. With the Rockets, huge question marks because you've got these two great scorers for the team. But um, will they be able to share the ball? Will they uh, play defense? How will this team really look? The Chris Paul experiment didn't work in Houston. He was injured a lot. And even though they finished uh, first in the Western Conference um, two seasons ago, they had a huge digression last season. So I don't know if the Rockets can really be uh, as good as everyone or some might hope they are with both Westbrook and with uh, Harden, and we've seen in Oklahoma City, or we saw in Oklahoma City over the last season, that Westbrook's scoring did go down uh, with Paul George in the lineup. So we'll see if uh, if this team can really do well with both of those elite scores in the team. I don't really think so. I've never been a big Westbrook fan. I think he shoots too much, and uh, I don't see him as um, a great player to lead a team to an NBA championship. He's a great fantasy player, but I don't see him as a great player leading teams to NBA championships. Now I've given you my NBA finals prediction, and I've mentioned these two teams already several times, and that's the LA Clippers and the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm basing this off of just my hunch, my prediction. I love what the Clippers have done with Kawhi Leonard. 
and bringing in Paul George as well. And we'll see if they maybe were able to pick somebody up around the NBA trade deadline to actually put them over the uh, the finish line. Again, with the 76ers, I like that move of uh, subtracting Jimmy Butler from the team. Again, I didn't think it worked with him, but I do like Tobias Harris. I do like Ben Simmons, and I love Joel Embiid. So I love this Philadelphia 76ers team. And with the way that the Bucks uh, capitulated at the end of the season and Toronto uh, overcame them in the Eastern Conference Finals, I could see that happening once more although I do do like uh, Giannis there in Milwaukee. So, guys, that is my NBA Finals prediction at the moment. Of course, we are so far away from uh, those NBA Finals taking place. So, guys, go over to Z-Code System and uh, upgrade to the VIP so you can get all of the picks and predictions and use all the tools for this year's NBA season. And we will see you next time here at Z-Code System.